crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe down below and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. And hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows what type of content to show and what everybody would like to see. So I'd really appreciate that thumbs up. So lately we've been doing some sewing tutorials and today I decided to get back and do a project using my Cricut. So about a month or so ago, I did a ask out on ideas um, for projects. And one of my very follow, uh, faithful followers, Teresa, said, hey Lisa, I'm looking at some ideas for some um, signs for outdoors. Summer is coming and I want something that would be fun to do. So this week's inspirational video is actually going to be a two part, you guys, because by the time I got done videoing this, it was really long. So part one is going to be showing you guys how I take a design down from a website, an SVG file, and I'm going to download it into Design Space. And then we are going to change it around a little bit and get it ready to put on our sign. Then the second part of the video is actually going to be putting the um, sign or the, the cut file on my piece of wood and applying epoxy. So we're gonna do part one and part two. So make sure you um, check out both parts. And let me show you what the end result is gonna look like. Is this sign just cute as cute can be? Um, welcome to our patio. And I'm gonna show you, I downloaded this from Design Bundles. Um, you could definitely design something yourself but um, I just thought it would be really fun to show you guys another source to be able to get some really fun cut files. So give me a second. Part one of this video, I'm going to join you in Design Space. Um, if you guys do not need to see that part of the tutorial, you want to go to part two. We are going to meet right back and we are going to be working on applying the vinyl directly to our wood sign. So look forward to seeing you guys. Hold on a minute and I'll meet you at Design Space. So to start this project, we are going to first pick our design. Now I want to show you the end result, but I also want to show you how I got here. Now I went ahead and I'm going to make this even a little bit smaller so you can see. This is how the um, download came to me. And then if we make it a little bit bigger, this is what I changed it to. So I want to start from the very beginning and show you guys what I did um, to get this. So I love using Design Space and there's so many different images here. But sometimes I want to do something just a little bit different. So we're going to hop over to Design Bundles. And you guys probably see these maybe pop up on your Facebook or different things. But I saw this one the other day and it is, you know, just the welcome to our patio. There's also a deck one, but I just thought it was so cute. It's a dollar fifty, And so it's very um, reasonable to bring down. Now I could have designed that um, and did it myself with different fonts and stuff. But for a dollar fifty, I thought it was a great idea. So. When you're doing something like this, all you need to do is download the file and of course pay for it. So I'm going to say we've already done that. And then what happens, now I've got a Mac, so then what happens when I download that, excuse me, I need to go to my finder, it brings down this zip file, okay? And in the zip file, if I click open the zip file, it is going to give me um, different file um, extensions okay I've got a DXF an EPS a PNG and an SVG and the SVG file is the file that we're going to be using okay so if I click on that SVG you can see that we've got our design so then all we need to do is we're gonna hop over to design space and I'm gonna go ahead and just start a new project um, just so you guys can see exactly the steps I took to upload this design. So the nice thing about it being an SVG is it's going to come in all set for us. So if we go to upload 
and we go ahead and do upload the image and I'm going to browse to where my images are and I've got that uh, file. I'm going to grab the SVG. Okay. So now I've got the SVG extension of the um, Welcome to Our Patio. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and it is going to bring it in. And if you have used the upload feature before, sometimes you've got to clean up your design. And you can see our design is totally cleaned up. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and just put um, grilling, um, chilling, sipping. Name it whatever you want um, to name it. And I'm going to save it. Okay, So now this file is ready to go for me. So I can click on it. And then I can hit insert at the bottom of our screen. And now I've got it inside of design space. So before I go to the next step, what I like to do is I like to put in a example of how big my sign is going to be or how big my board is. And so what I do for that is I just go in and add a shape. And so I'm going to start with a square. I am, you can either click off the um, lock button here or you can click off the lock button right down here. I'm going to click that off. I know that my board width is 30 inches and I know that my height is 10.5. Okay, now right away what's going to happen is design space is going to give us an error here because that is too big. That's fine because we are not going to be cutting this. We're just using it for sizing. I always like to change my um, borders to or my sign size to white. It's just a little bit easier to work with. And I also like to arrange them and send them to the back. Okay, so now we've got our image that we brought in and we know how big our sign is. Now, I will tell you my sign's so big, so I'm going to decrease my size to about 50%. And you can see. Even if I were to increase my um, so, um, the wording, it still would not look proportionately right. And that's why I redesigned um, this one to lay it out a little bit differently. Now, if you had a sign or a board that was a rectangle that this fits into, you would be good to go and could go straight to the, um, the cutting piece. But I want to show you that you're not limited to just how you get something in that you can make some changes to it. So what I like to do is I like to duplicate it because I'm going to take out the welcome. I'm going to do the to our patio. We do a lot of and then I'm going to individually do the sip and chillin and, and sip and grillin and chillin. OK, so let's go ahead and duplicate that. And I'm going to duplicate it three times because I'm going to make changes to it. Okay. So I'm just going to move those off to the side for a moment. And I want to show you a couple different ways that you can make changes. OK, one, we can use our slice feature, right? We definitely can go in there with a rectangle. Um, let's just go ahead and make a, a small rectangle. Um, and let's take the lock off and let's um, cover up the welcome. And as long as you can do that and make sure that you're not locking anything else off, you can definitely do that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my image. I'm going to hit my shift key. I'm going to hit my rectangle and then my slice feature comes up. And so I'm going to slice. And now I'm able to pull out the welcome and it's going to turn into three different um, pieces that I've got. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and discard these extras. And now I have welcome all by itself. Whoops, didn't quite get that one. I've got welcome all by itself. OK, so now I can do the exact same thing. And because um, I can. I've still got these ones over here that I could use, but I'm going to go ahead and just do this one. So now what we need to do is we need to take out to, um, to our patio we do a lot of. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I originally started was by doing the same 
um, step that we did in the last one and I um, started to do this and I was so close on that let me enlarge it I was so close that I was going to lose some of this so another feature that I want to show you guys that we can use for this is the contour feature so I've got the um, design up I'm going to click on contour and for this one what you can do is now I always like to make mine smaller um, so now this is asking you what do you want to hide and so I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to click on um, all of the um, sipping, the grilling, um, and the chilling. And now this step really is nice if you guys are using, or this tool is really nice if you want to remove something from the inside of an image. Um, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that you have options to be able to make changes to your design. So I've hidden the sip and chillin' and grillin'. I've left to our patio alone. And when I click on the X, now all I'm left with is um, the saying that we want. Okay, so now I've got this one taken care of. I've got this one taken care of. And so now what we're left with is our sipping, grilling, and chilling. So we can pick and choose which way we want to um, take it. So let's let's just do some practicing. So let's go ahead and let's do the um, slice feature first. So I've got my rectangle. Um, I've taken my um, lock off and let's just start at the bottom and let's go ahead and see if I can get close enough there. That looks good. I've got my rectangle. I'm going to hit my shift key. I'm going to grab my design. I'm going to say slice and it's going to give me three images of my chillin'. Okay, so there I'm going to close those out. So I've got chillin' taken care of. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and do another one. And we'll go ahead and do the and the same way. And this is just good practice, you guys. You guys can pick which option you guys feel most comfortable with, um, definitely. But slice and contour are definitely your friends when it comes to you wanting to redesign something. Okay, so let's go ahead and now let's try our contour. And let's go ahead and one other way to do the contour is you can say hide everything and it'll pick one thing to keep. And then what we can do is we can just click back on what we want. And the key here is you need to make sure you get the insides of everything too um, when you do it this way. And then I want to get rid of that M. Okay, so when I close this out, I should be left with sipping. And I am. Okay, so now let's try that one more time. Let's go ahead and go to contour. And I've got grilling left that I still need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and hide everything. And I'm going to click on my grillin. And I'm going to get rid of that M, it said. And then I should be left with grillin. So we're good to go. We've um, taken apart our design. And now what we have is we've got our large sign. And we need to decide how we want to lay it out and what size we want. Okay. So. I am going to go ahead and make this welcome a little bit bigger. And what I like to do is let Design Space do the centering for me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my welcome. I'm going to hit my shift key and I'm going to click on my um, big rectangle that I have there. And I'm going to say a range, excuse me, I'm going to say a line and I'm going to say center it horizontally. Okay, so that gives me an idea of where it is going to be in the sign. I could make this even smaller so you guys could see the whole sign, okay? But I want to make sure you guys can don't have to squint to see this online. So let's go ahead and make this guy a little bit bigger. Let's do the exact same thing. Practice makes perfect. So we're going to click on the image. We're going to hit our shift key. We're going to hit the rectangle. And we are going to say center um, horizontally. Now, I want to move my, oops, I'm moving my sign. Did you guys see that? I did not grab the image. I'm going to move that guy up just a little bit 
And then we are going to do our sipping, grilling, and chilling. Okay. And so what I want to do here is I am going to spread these guys out pretty good. So I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. So by only changing one, it's just proportionate to the other ones. So what I like to do is I like to look at what my height is. So play with the size you want, right? Because we've got lots of room there. Okay, so you can see this is now a 7.757 by 2.193. Okay, so if we go in the in the line um, after sipping comes grilling. So if I move grilling up here, and you can see it's way too small. So I click back over here and I know this is a 2.193. So I'm going to not take off my lock because I want it, it to stay in proportion. And I'm going to come up here to my height and put 2.913 for my size. Okay. And now my grilling, I did that backwards, being a little dyslexic, Lisa. So this is 2.193. You can tell right away that it did not look right. Okay. So now we've got those in line. Now we're going to, we're going to line them all up together here in a minute. Okay, and now my and, I, instead of making my and um, the exact size, I left it a little bit um, off, and I kind of did it cattywampus, I call that. I don't know if that's a, a, a real word or not, but I like to put it that way. I'm going to make it small again so I can really see if I've got this um, proportioned right. I'm going to go ahead and go to 2.193 again and see if my words are going to be a little bit too big. So if I move sipping over, grilling over, and, and this is where you guys are just going to play with your size. You can still see that I've made that a little bit too big. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tone that down a little bit. So now it is 1.753. And this is where you guys can, um, you guys can, you know, decide what size you want um, your sign to be. So I'm going to go like that. So that again is 1.753. So I'll go up here, 1.753. And now I have got all of these about, about right. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go ahead and click on sipping, hit my shift key, hit my chillin' and I am going to go up to a line and I am going to say bottom, align bottom. Okay. So that means all the bottom are even and I'm going to bring my and over just a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, go ahead and put all of these together. Okay. Because I want them to cut all together. So you can do the attach feature because these are all the same color. You can do the group, but I am just going to go ahead and weld mine. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and weld it. And so now this is all one image. Okay. So now what I can do is I can grab that new image, all of those together, hit my shift key, hit my rectangle, and I can align center horizontally. Okay. So there we are. We've got it. Now, I will tell you, I think my welcome might be a little bit high. Okay. So now, you guys, if we were to grab all three of these images, um, this is bigger than what my mat is, right? So this is um, 25.904 um, by 8.931. Okay. So we are not going to be able to cut this all on one um, one mat. Okay. In fact, it's not even liking um, the size of my sip and grilling and chilling. Okay. It is saying, and you guys can see that's where Design Space is giving you these warnings, right? So I need to go down to a 23 and a half. So if I change that to 23.5. Okay. So now my error is gone. I know I can print it and I'm not um, aligned. And so I'm going to go ahead and go back to align. I'm going to align horizontally. 
and there we have it. There's our sign. Let's make that a little bit bigger now. And you can see that that is the sign that we are going to um, cut and put onto our board. So I hope this part was helpful. Again, we use the slice feature and we use the contour feature. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the square because I do not need to print that square. Okay. So if I click on the um, eyeball, it takes it out of my design. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to make it. And when we go to make it, you are going to see that it is right away going to give me a warning. Hey, you've got a design that's bigger than your normal 12 by 12 map. Is it okay if we use a 12 by 24? If you guys do not have a 12 by 24, you can definitely break down the sip and grillin' and chillin' and cut those out individually. I happen to have a 12 by 24, so I'm going to go ahead and cut with that. So I would just say, okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and lay some vinyl down on my mat. And then I'm going to ask you guys to join me in part two of this video series of making this sign. So in the next video, we are going to be weeding our design and then we are going to turn it into this beautiful wood sign by applying some epoxy. So go ahead and look for part two of this video set.